Today I'm about to talk about CJ's A Touch of Terror. What this traditional surfing has done is taking classic songs and turn them into surf songs. Um, when I say classics, I mean way back. Um, you'll hear them in the background playing. Uh, Corky was kind enough to do an interview with us and sent me the CD, which I, I got and I, I loved. Um, of course, a lot of them, uh, the, the songs are movie themes. Um, so it, it has that, what I always say is cinematic vibe, but it's um, neo-traditional and very surf um, oriented. Um, it's something I remember from watching movies as a kid and something I always shared with my my father was watching these old movies and uh, getting into it. And a lot of bands, especially um, Corky and the CJs, um, find, find it very refreshing and a unique experience to translate different genres, old and new, into new songs. Um, different arrangements, different uh, instruments, um, different keys. Uh, it, it's it's a very uh, it's a very interesting uh, way to look at music, uh, cover songs, you know. And I would suggest you at least go and check them out if you can't hear them here. Let me pause a second. And then what I suggest you do is go to the link in the description to their banking page. They have a few things, but A Touch of Terror is there. Uh, you see the, the, cra the crazy movie theater, art, uh, movie poster artwork. And, uh, you know, sample the whole album, the six tracks. Uh, goes by quick, and uh, it, it's very enjoyable. I meant to like, sit back and chill, and uh, or for a nice drive at the top down. I, I would suggest definitely picking this up, sampling it, and then picking it up because you know what helps these bands is, as I always say, you buy their merchandise and CDs and their music that they work so hard to create and they can make more. They write a lot, they play a lot, but to manufacture and put out the CD, um, is, is expensive on a band, so you can do your part by helping them out and supporting the band and the scene.